right, thanks, Ron. Last week, the Iowa House passed a bill that would greatly increase starting teacher pay. Now, the Iowa Senate's moving its own version of that teacher pay bill. The legislature is responding to a recommendation from Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds to raise starting teacher pay to $50,000 statewide. Now, Governor Reynolds says that will make Iowa more competitive in recruiting and retaining teachers. KTV's Clayton Anderson joins us in studio tonight to discuss the latest developments unfolding. Clayton, what can you tell us? Well, last Thursday, lawmakers in the Iowa House passed a bill that would raise the minimum teacher salary to $47,500. That would make Iowa's teacher pay 12th in the nation, but the raise falls short of what Governor Kim Reynolds said she wanted in her condition of the state speech. She asked lawmakers to raise starting teacher pay to $50,000 a year. Representative J.D. Shulton, a Democrat from Sioux City, says while he thinks the bill that passed the House could do more, the pay raise is something he and other Democrats support. After all, it got bipartisan support in the House. The more we can do for public education, the better we all are, the, the more engaged uh, we are, the better workforce we have. And, and so that's why the return on investment for society is instrumental when it comes to investing in public education. Now that the House has passed its bill, the Senate will try to pass a similar bill. Senator Jeff Taylor, a Republican from Sioux Center, who serves as vice chair of the Senate's Education Committee, says the Senate bill looks a little different than the House bill. Taylor says in the Senate, teacher pay is a component of the AEA reform bill. While he says he is a fiscal conservative, Taylor says he supports raising teacher pay. Well, the fact that, that we have to spend some additional dollars to make sure that we are able to hire and retain quality public school teachers, uh, to me, that, that doesn't go against uh, the idea of fiscal uh, responsibility is as long as we're doing it in the proper way. Taylor says he wants to make sure that whatever promise the state makes for this year, they are able to sustain in the future. Taylor says if the Senate passes its own version of the bill, the House and Senate will have to work out the differences between the bills before it goes to Governor Kim Reynolds. All right, Clayton Anderson live in studio. Thanks for that.